It's finally here, the Winnie the Pooh Blood and Honey 2 trailer. Let's check it out and then talk about it. Let's begin. I'm going to take you back there. Feel all weight drift away. How are you feeling? Good, I think. Do you recall anything from the session? Focus. What is happening? This was the day Billy was taken. And kids. I already like the new makeup. You bedded. As if the earth itself. Oh, was he looks good. This horror to rise up. There's some unsettling similarities to the Hundred Acre Massacre. It's not safe. There have been loads of okay, flashbacks. Tell me everything you saw, please. I knew this day would come. Oh, the bear trap. He talks. Down will burn. Oh, they talk now. Nice. Ooh. Ooh. Chainsaw? Wow. That already looks better than the first one. There's a lot to unpackage here. Um, let's start with the costumes, the makeup. It leaps and bounds better than the first movie. Actually, everything about this is leaps and bounds better than the first movie. Um, I noticed, like, I don't want to say three, maybe two different Winnie the Pooh makeups. I think there might even be a third. So obviously we have some flashbacks of previous fights and things that happened in the past. So the makeup is going to be a little different, more like along the lines of what we saw in the first movie. And then we see it progressively getting better. And now we have this prosthetics and the really good looking makeup. Tigger, let's touch on Tigger because that guy looks amazing. I am absolutely in love with this character. I don't know if he's bouncing, because we know Tigger's love the bounce, but he is doing a lot of jumping, and he looks vicious. I mean, they say he likes to play with his prey before killing him and torturing him and that kind of thing, and he's going to be the loose cannon for sure, but the the voice that he used just sounds demonic almost. But I love the fact that they're talking more now. They only got like one sentence out of the Winnie the Pooh in the first one. And now it seems like they're going to be talking a lot more, which is interesting. I thought I heard Al speak, but it might not have been Al. It might have been Pooh because we couldn't see his mouth. We're not sure, but somebody else is definitely talking too. I do love the fact that Robin is in this more as well. And there's a backstory to him when he was a kid. Note that he has that yellow sweatshirt on like in the, the book. That was a nice little throwback. And he had the red balloon. Doesn't belong to Pennywise, though. That's actually Robin's. Overall, you can see the increase in budget they had to make this movie. They're putting to good use. The makeup is incredible. The blood splatter looks a lot better. So the CGI they're using is definitely improved. So I'm actually looking forward to this movie. If you watched my review of the first one, you know I wasn't a huge fan. It just didn't work for me. But this one might actually change my mind this this might be the one that says you know what winnie the pooh horror movie okay i can see it but let me know what your thoughts of the trailer are down in the comments hit that like button and subscribe button if you haven't already and i'll see you at the concession stands